Hello and welcome to BusyWorksBeats.com. Today we continue the FL Studio series right here, BusyWorksBeats.com slash FL Studio. I'm going to show you how to use drum breaks while you're sampling and making beats and how to really make it your own instead of just having it loop over and over and over again. Let's hop into FL Studio and I'm going to show you all the step by step. All right, so we're in FL Studio. I have a drum by AJ Hall. It's called Yurt Drum Break from his, what is this called? From his one mic. Uh, drum breaks kit okay so i'm going to mute the sample for a second so here's the drums unprocessed first thing i do is i always look at the drums uh, if it's a loop what bpm is it and i lock that into my project bpm so that when i chop everything's going to be easier to slice even if even if he plays a little bit early or late like right here the kick comes in early Okay, so let me show you how to flip that. So we're going to use um, the Lil' Kim sample for this example. Sample for example. Smash the like button if you love Biggie, Lil' Kim. Okay, so what I need to do is I'm going to show you how to mangle the drum break, but first we need to map the music, and then we're going to go back and redo the drums like a DJ. So I'm going to show you stuff you probably just haven't realized you had in FL Studio. So first I'm going to grab the slip tool, hit Alt, and left click to drag the sample. Okay, so if it's delayed, you can pull it closer to the front. Okay, so it's almost perfectly 84. I'm not sure the BPM of the sample. So we're going to just manually figure it out. Let's count the music. No drums, no metronome. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. And slice. Two, three, four. Two, two, three. I didn't sample the rest. Okay, so we just have however many bars this is. Okay, so it seems like we got lucky. It's almost 84 BPM, so let's double click this. Go to the top left, actually. Make unique as a sample. So the FL Studio only looks at this audio. Notice if I try to, there's no more audio to the right. Okay, and there's no more audio on the left side either. So this is a completely new sample. And I need to time stretch it because there's a tiny gap at the end. So double click, go to mode, stretch mode, and then grab your time knob and just Turn it up just a little bit, it will lock to the grid. So now it's perfectly time stretched. You can even use your metronome at this point. Two, two, three, four, and okay, so we have two bars at 84 BPM. Now let's go back to our drums. Now that we have the sample, now we can move the drums around the sample. The big guitar and the, uh, the big so far. So I'm gonna show you a couple techniques. First, I'm gonna listen to the drums and I'm gonna ask, do the drums have the same groove as the sample. Most of the time they don't. The drums are doing their own thing and the sample's doing its own thing. So I'm gonna listen up until we have what's called a drum fill. The first record in the being noticed, the bullet rock, the being focused. I got a lot of a uh, big tongue with a big whip, snoop car with a new trick, flip bit. In the up like y'all uh, when I'm in the crib. So, mm, mm, uh, let me get it done. Uh. Okay, so I'm gonna loop that now. Over time, you know, people are going to get like, OK, this is a loop, which is fine. Let's drag this entire drum I'm running out of breath, y'all. Copy it, hit shift, left click and drag this over. Smash the like button, add more oxygen to my lungs so I could get through this. OK, hit shift, drag this over on the second pass. We're going to make this unique as sample. So it's only listening to just this. Oh, actually, let's not make it unique. As sample. Let's make it unique. The, the difference between making it unique as sample and making it unique is that we still have audio to the right. If you make it unique as a sample, it gets rid of all the excess audio that it doesn't see in the audio clip. Okay, so we still have audio to pull from. It's just not on the screen. The reason that's important is because I'm going to show you a technique here, which is important to keep all the excess information. Let's grab the slice tool, change your snap grid, snap to grid to a beat or any or less, either one. I'm going to slice at the beat level. Two, two three, four, and I want to change up somewhere in here. Let's switch this to half a beat. So right here, I want it to go one, two, three, four, two, two, switch, switch, one, two, three, four, okay? So what I did here is I did shift alt because this kick occurs before the downbeat. So if I hit shift and slice, it will only slice at the actual downbeat and I will get rid of part of the kick. So to prevent that, I hit alt to allow me to micro nudge this slice so that I don't get rid of the whole kick. Okay, so I'm gonna right click to delete clips. Okay, now 
that we have this audio. This is the part that is important. Let's go to slip mode. And now what I could do is change the audio for this specific portion of the drum break. And this is how we create like DJ change ups without doing a lot. Okay, so let's do that again. I'm just moving the audio forward with the slip tool, just left click and drag. And that's how you create those change up. That wasn't the original playing style, but we made it seem that way using that slip tool. So it's a way to make your drums feel organic, but create change ups when you have drum loops. Three, four, two, two, change and change. And I like that turnaround, but I just want it to be different. Okay, so let's grab that slip tool. Here are the two sections. Let me open up another track so you can see what's going on. So these two are the ones that I chopped using shift left click to slice. Let's grab the slip tool and I'm going to left click and change that audio. That was kind of cool. A little double turnaround. Three, one, two, three, four, and change to a change to a, okay. So I want change and change. Okay, so here I'm going to slice in different parts. Remember, hit shift alt. If your stuff happens before the downbeat, you don't want to hit shift and left click because you'll cut off the whole pointy part of the snare. So to prevent that, hit alt to do micro slices. Okay, now that we have, I think, wait, hold on, I forgot where I sliced. Wait, one, <laughs> I forgot where it was. Was it right here? I think it was right here and right here, I think. Okay, so let's grab that slip tool and now move this audio. Let me go back because I forgot where I sliced. One, two, three, four, and change to change. That's what it was. Okay. Okay, now let's left click and just move that around. So now we have different drums. the same thing for your audio but because the audio is already chopped I don't I'm not gonna do anything to it so let's play it all the way back from the beginning now that was a natural change up so listen to the second half these are all the change ups a little bit okay so that's how you make your drum breaks sound more um, dynamic without needing a bunch of drums added to it you can make it feel like one cohesive thing so that's a super, super high level trick um, you could use. It's super simple as well. Let's go big, big screen. All right. So I want to thank you. If you want to learn more, we have a sample series. Just go to premium.busyworksbeats.com. I'll leave a link below. We have a whole sample series and a hip hop series on how to sample like the pros. If Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new and like the video to help more producers around the world. Peace out, guys.